what's up y'all it's me lady and i am here with the video today i just decided to turn on the camera as i um make a library run on my lunch break so that's where i am headed it is a beautiful day out today and um it is may 3rd <laughs> It is May 3rd, so I figured I'd leave the office for a change during lunch, especially since I got the um, your hose already <laughs> email, text message. I was like, okay, so I'm not going to stay in the office all day. I'll actually get out and go to the library. So I just had a few like bookish things, you know, to chat about. One was this past Saturday was Indie Bookstore Day, and I went to one bookstore. I went to one bookstore that day, which was Thank You Books. It's here in Birmingham. Everyone was nice, and they had nice um, refreshments and wine set out for everyone. And I went with my sister, and we ended up meeting two friends there because our book club, who has been, you know, meeting virtually for the past three years, we had our first meetup on Saturday as well. So I just had a wonderful bookish day this past Saturday. And um, I did end up getting two books. I got Neighbor Favor, which I think is like a contemporary romance. And I got Yonder, um, which was a recommendation. So I'm glad I picked it up. And I'm actually about to take the um, library book. I'm about to drop it off since I purchased Yonder. Um, hopefully I can find a parking space up in here. Uh-oh. Did I just hit a curb? Okay, so I'm parked. Right? I said that I am taking back Yonder since I purchased it on Indie Bookstore Day. And I'm taking back The World We Make by N.K. Jemison because this is book two. And I was going to read the first book and start it in April, but I decided I wanted to have the audiobook. So I own book one, The City We Became, and I am waiting on the audiobook from the library and, and before I start reading that one. And I know I won't have it in time for this one so i was like let me take this one on back to the library right so that's what i'm gonna drop off and i'll let y'all know what i am picking up um april wrap up so in the month of april i read four books and i am planning to do individual book talks for each one of those books because they were pretty good books and the other thing is i feel like in my wrap-ups because i don't document in the you know the description box and do all the tags i feel like books get lost in the shuffle when i just do those large wrap-ups so i was looking at um the youtube studio app because i put that on my phone so that i could comment you know reply to comments and I never look at analytics, analytics, y'all. But I did. And like my top 10, 20 videos are all individual book talk videos. And then I saw somebody um, talking about how YouTube basically is just like a search engine now. And so if somebody wants to know about a particular book, if I discuss it in a wrap-up and not, you know, tag the book properly and everything like that, you know, my video wouldn't come up. And so I realized that just doing one book per video is the route that I want to go going forward. We'll see how long that, <laughs> that lasts. Um, but yeah, I've been making sure to take notes as I'm reading, which... I don't know where this is coming from because I usually 
you know, I read a book, move on, talk, think about how it made me feel, a few points, and let that be it. But I've been taking notes and stuff with the books that I read in April. So those individual book talks, which will be four for the month of April, since that's what I read, those will come out likely in the next week or so. So that's what I'm planning to do with this channel. Um, and to see how that goes. That way I am, I give myself, you know, the proper time to talk about books. I'm definitely no, um, reviewer. Um, it's just going to be a chat about points and things that I found important while reading. And so I thought that's how I should do that. So what I am currently reading is I started both of these last week, the last week in April. And um, so they'll be finished this month. I am reading this one, Last Summer on State Street by Toya Wolf. And um, pretty good. Am I at the halfway mark? Not quite. But, oh, I can't wait to talk about this one. It is so good. And I picked this one up. Um, just, um, at the library, I had a chance to just look through the shelves and stuff. I rarely get a chance to do that these days. And this title, the cover, uh, coming of age story, all of that just grabbed my attention. Um, I can't say that I remember seeing this one anywhere, um, you know, any booktube channels or, on Goodreads. I don't know if any of my friends have read this one, but I am glad I am reading it because it is so good. And then the next thing I'm reading is Conjure Women. I am reading and listening to this one by audio. So I'm I'm further along than, than the bookmark um, shows. I have to figure out where I am because I listen to it you know, during my um, commute. So I'm probably, I'm, I'm about 60% um, in this one. And um, I honestly and truly thought about putting it down, but I'll share uh, that in a minute. So I'm reading some pretty heavy stuff. So when I get, uh, put these, take these other books back and I get back in the car, I found something fun <laughs> to read so i'm going to go get that and then i'll be back okay okay i'm back in the car and y'all it's so pretty outside and see this is the thing when you leave the office during lunch and it's a beautiful day it is so hard to return but i haven't had lunch and my lunch is in the break room at work so i'm i'm, I'm definitely going back but what did I get? Spy Family. And I got volumes one, two, and three from the library. Um, somebody I saw was talking about this. And like I mentioned, I've been reading some heavy stuff. So I wanted something fun to read. And this one is about a master spy. His name is Twilight. And... Um, that's all I know so far. I think he he has a case where he needs to have a family. And so he's a spy, but he's single. Now he needs to... Something with a case where he now needs a wife and a child. So he then found a wife and a child, but turns out the wife is an assassin. And the child that he has found is a telepath. So that's him... I'm assuming this is the child that's on the cover of volume two, and this is the wife on the cover of um, volume one. I think there are currently um, nine volumes. I think at least that's how many volumes my library has, but hopefully this is as funny and as good as um, the reviews. Um, so that'll be a break, a good break from 
what I the heavy stuff I have been reading. So I also have that day um a couple of weeks ago when I had a time to you know just peruse the shelves at the library. I do have some other books checked out so I will just share those at the end of this video so y'all will know exactly what I currently have checked out from the library. And that is it for me in this video. I will see you all in my next one. Bye, y'all.